Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, you may be aware that certain natural agents like curcumin from the spice turmeric and white willow extract are often used as natural anti-inflammatory agents. They can reduce inflammation. In fact, recently published clinical trials have shown their value as an adjunct in reducing inflammation and pain in osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis management. But very few people are aware of the natural herb known as Boswellia. Now, Boswellia is a tree that's native to India and North Africa and the Middle East. And the tree gives rise to a resin, which is rich in what's called boswellic acids, which have natural anti-inflammatory properties. And like curcumin and white willow extract and ginger, Recent clinical studies have shown that supplementation with Boswellia standardized to a 70% a Boswellic acid standardized grade can reduce pain and inflammation in patients with osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. In fact, two really important human studies published in, just in the year 2020 confirm, confirm these findings. Now the other impressive finding is that Boswellia does not have any noteworthy side effects and thus most patients with joint inflammation problems can take it safely. But what's also noteworthy are the experimental studies showing that Boswellic acids are toxic to certain types of human cancer cells and can even prompt cancer cells to commit suicide, a thing that we call apoptosis, programmed cell death, getting a cancer cell to commit suicide before it becomes a threat to the rest of the body. So these findings have prompted its use in several human cancer trials in recent years, where Boswellia supplementation was shown to reduce brain swelling in patients with an aggressive brain cancer known as glioblastoma. Now the same 2017 published paper also cited research showing that Boswellia supplementation reversed multiple brain metastasis in a breast cancer patient who had their cancer that had spread to the brain. And it actually got those tumors in their brain to start shrinking, which is pretty impressive. In another study involving 44 patients with brain tumors, Boswellia supplementation reduced brain swelling after radiation treatment to a much greater degree than the placebo. This is important because after radiation treatment, often there's a lot of swelling and pain. They often will use corticosteroid drugs like pregnizone to shrink it, but they found that Boswellia was just as effective without having the side effects that you get from taking a pregnizone. So this is very promising as very few chemotherapy drugs can actually cross the blood-brain barrier. But boswellic acids from boswellia are able to cross into the brain from the bloodstream and appear to exert some very impressive effects. Now in another case report published in the same 2017 update, a patient using boswellia supplementation showed a remarkable ability to prevent the recurrence of bladder cancer after going bladder cancer surgery. So after his surgery, the patient refused any follow-up chemotherapy or radiation treatment which had been prescribed. Now that's not to say that the patient made the right decision. In my, in my view, he should have had the follow-up conventional medical treatment in, con in conjunction with possibly adding Boswellia supplementation as an adjunct to the treatment plan. But using Boswellia supplementation, he continued to be cancer-free during the first two years of the follow-up period, which the doctors thought was quite impressive. In a study published in 2015 involving 144 breast cancer patients who were undergoing radiation treatment, the group who applied Boswellia cream to their skin after each radiation treatment had less of a sunburn type reaction or intense redness and pain, something we call erythema, after the radiation then did the group who got the placebo cream. In other words, the anti-inflammatory properties of Boswellia put into a cream could reduce sort of the radiation burn and painful uh, sort of swelling and redness that people get after radiation treatment. So what is the takeaway message here? Well, the bottom line is that ingesting a Boswellia supplement standardized to 70% Boswellic acids is likely to be very helpful in the management of joint inflammation problems such as osteoarthritis and in some autoimmune conditions that affect the joints like rheumatoid arthritis or maybe lupus as an example. The usual daily dosage is 250 milligrams per day if it's used as a single supplement. But many companies do a very smart, smart thing. They combine Boswellia with other proven anti-inflammatory herbs like curcumin, white willow extract, and ginger to get sort of a synergistic and more robust anti-inflammatory and pain-killing effect. 
Like Boswellia, some of these natural anti-inflammatory agents also show impressive anti-cancer properties just like Boswellia. Thus, when these natural anti-inflammatories are combined, they provide secondary benefits, health benefits, over and above their anti-inflammatory pain-killing properties that appear to be quite desirable as well. So finally, if a person is undergoing radiation treatment where a sunburn, painful skin reaction is likely to occur, they may want to ask their doctor about using a Boswellia cream to reduce the redness, pain, and swelling that's typically caused by radiation treatment of this kind. So I've included the references for Boswellia in the text below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.